In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass, Thursday of the third week of Advent. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, St. Luke describes those who came to see John the Baptist. He says, all the people who listened, including the tax collectors, who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and scholars of the law, who were not baptized by him, rejected the plan of God for themselves. My brothers and sisters, we do not want to reject the plans of God for our lives, that is for sure. We want to repent, metanoiete, to change, but we know that we need God's grace. Repentance involves essentially two steps. First, we really need to listen, to listen with the heart and to open our hearts to the Holy Spirit. The Greek word akuo translates the Hebrew shama. It means that I've silenced myself to myself and that I seek now to hear the voice of God. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. What is it you're asking me to change? What is it that you're asking me to repent of? The second step is to acknowledge the righteousness of God. We need to give thanks for all of our blessings, to recognize God's presence, his faithfulness and his mercy, and to ask forgiveness from him for our sins, our faults, and our indifferences. However, righteousness, dikaiusune in the Greek, sedaka in Hebrew, also means to be reconciled with others. Tax collectors, had a lot of reconciling to do. Just remember Zacchaeus, remember? He promised to restore fourfold the wrong that he had done. True conversion then includes a good confession, but it also means that if it would not do further harm, I need to ask forgiveness from those whom I have offended. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. Conversion consists in a new attitude towards God as Father a new attitude towards men and women as our brothers and sisters, and a new attitude towards the things of the world. In other words, it requires a total change of the interior inclinations of the heart, not to remain closed in on ourselves anymore, but to want to live the plans of God for our lives, asking Him for forgiveness and also asking one another for forgiveness. All for the heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary.